My name is Dr. Bridget Shen Lee. This is I2OD daily coverage at the Vision Expo East. I am here with Dr. Whitney Hauser. Dr. Hauser, you gave a lecture on how to build the dry eye center. Would you tell us about the, your lecture? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the lecture was really a lot of fun, a lot of interaction from the audience, which I love as a speaker. And we talked a lot about how you can implement dry eye in any type of practice. So whether it's you know the initial practitioner, the more advanced practitioner, uh, there's a lot of different options out there. So for uh, the beginning practitioners who are trying to start the dry eye practice, what are your recommendations? Right. Offering things like over-the-counter um, nutraceuticals is a great option that steers the patient towards what that doctor wants to use. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that really helps a lot with compliance. Uh, sales of things like brooder masks is also very helpful. Mm -hmm. Now for the more advanced practitioner, things like Lipiflow, Intense Pulse Light, uh, Blefex, it mm -hmm. offers a lot of great options as well. So, and as that startup starts to evolve into the more advanced practitioner, then they can add those pieces in. That's great. Now, would you share with us about the diagnostic testings on the market right now? Right. That has really been an explosion in the last several years. So we have mybography to visualize the meibomian glands, Inflamadry to evaluate for inflammation, mm -hmm. osmolarity with tear lab. You know, there's just so many tests that really help you drill down in your diagnosis, which is essential in finding the right treatment. Thank you so much for the summary on how to start a dry eye practice. And thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.